Today we're going to introduce you to plug all functions in WordPress. If you look at this theme here, we wanted to use the header as a logo. We wanted to add additional menus. We wanted to add new image sizes. Now, to do this, we used pluggable functions. So, what are pluggable functions? Let's have a look at these two functions. The first one. Hi, I'm not a pluggable function. I cannot exist in both the parent and child functions PHP. If I'm in both files, then WordPress will generate a fatal error. Function. My non-pluggable function. Echo. Hi, I am a non-pluggable function. Put me in the parent and child and it will be a fatal. What that means is, if you put this in both the parent and the child functions PHP, you will get you cannot redeclare the function. You may have seen this error message, you will be locked out of your admin area and you will not be able to get back in until you actually remove this function. So let's have a look at the next one. This is a pluggable function. It says hi, I'm a pluggable function. I can be loaded in either the child theme, if I exist, or the parent. If I'm in both files, then WordPress will use the child themes function and ignore the parents function. Now this is a line that makes me pluggable. This line here, this if statement and this closing statement end if. This makes this function pluggable. It, it can exist in both the parent and the child. My pluggable function. Hi, I'm a pluggable function. Put me in the parent and child and I'll be happy. So let's have a look at a real example. Right, this is our 2011. Parents functions PHP. Here it is, look. If function exists, 2011 setup. So that means that this function here, all the way down to here, I can copy to my child theme and then I can change anything inside there and that's what will be loaded and it will ignore this function. Likewise this function here, if it exists in the child theme, it will be run from the child theme and not from the parent. So let's have a look at that. Here you can see this comment, digital raindrops, we copy the whole pluggable function from the parent themes folder. We override the 2011 setup in our child theme, add in our own 2011 setup in our child functions PHP file. We left quite a lot as it was, but what we've done, we added a top menu and a footer menu here, and our primary menu will fit nicely between the footer and the header menus. We disabled the post formats, aside, link, gallery, status, quote, image. This is a photo blog, we don't want other formats. Here we can see that we changed these colours from 1D, 1D, 1D to 0F, 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 and from F1, F1, F1 to FFF. So basically what we're doing is we're using the body colour for the background so we don't get that grey white effect, we get white white. I'm going to use the header functionality for a logo, 120 by 120. Here we add the width and the height. We don't have to add any functions in the child theme to override the parent because they will not be loaded from the parent. We now have control. In this section we can see that we've just want a small feature from the parent. We deleted the other size, we've added a new image size called wide list and we've changed the post thumbnail size to 500 by 300 which is the one that we use for all our different views. We removed all the parents' headers. We don't want the parents' headers because there's no point in having word headers when our logo is 120 by 120. So we just deleted them lines. We added a function here because what we've got in our own folder is we've got our own headers. So basically these are our own headers and we create a function which is further down in the file that will actually load these headers for us. This little function here, when we switch themes, on our theme we use a couple of options for storing uh, setups. So when we switch themes we will delete these. Now this is a non-pluggable function in parent theme. So that used to say 2011 continue reading link, we changed that to DR and we've removed the filters from parent theme. So we've removed them two filters and we're now adding back our own filters calling our own functions. So these, this function here, this function here, this function here are non-pluggable, so we had to rename them. Because we're allowing our users to change between the dark and the light theme, we had to create some extra styles. So basically what we've done is here, if it's a dark theme, then we're loading our child dark CSS file from our child themes folder. 
And the last little bit here inside the 2011 setup, we're loading some scripts in a footer. This is basically because if we load them in a footer, our theme will load faster. We've got images in our theme, so we want to load as much as we can, as late as we can. So this is our LinkedIn, Google Plus One, Facebook, and keyboard navigation for posts. There's another pluggable function that we copied across. Now we have to copy this across just because of this header image here, 120. This is for our admin view, so we can look at the header images as logos. Also, we copied across the 2011 posted on and we removed the posted on text from this section here. The other functions below this are our own functions that we created. And this one here is the one that loads the headers. Basically, it looks in the style sheet directory, images headers, it runs through, it finds the headers, and it loads them into an array, and it then registers the headers. So that is basically a look at pluggable functions. They're very powerful. If you're designing a new theme of your own, and you want people to be able to use child themes, then make as much as you can pluggable. So then people can not be damaging your code, and coming back to you saying, your theme don't work. For more information, visit http colon forward slash digitalraindrops.net.